on welcome. I, I really need to find a uh, n name for my vlog instead of just calling it vlog one, vlog two, blah, blah, blah. K kind of boring. Anyway, uh, today I just felt like the, um, I just felt the urge to show off some of my collections um, that, you know, I accumulated over the years. I actually inherited some of my father's um, knife and sword collection. And um, that was one thing that um, he and I shared. We had a love of love for weapons, and you know, it didn't mean that we were warmongers or anything, but we just um, liked the art of weaponry. And he accumulated a nice um, size, um, nice size collection towards the end of his life, and he, then I ended up getting it on top of what he'd already given me as gifts. And so I decided to go through, I have not went through these boxes in quite a few years, so I don't know exactly what all I have. So I will be showing them off, some of these to you. I, I may split this off into two separate um, episodes since this is um, a little bit of a big collection and it might be a little bit boring to just, uh, sit, sit and show and tell for all of them. And if you're wondering about the gloves, that's just for my hand protection. Um, cute, aren't they? Um, but yeah, my hands are awfully dry and very susceptible to um, being scratched, as well as I don't want to get any oils or blood onto my daggers and swords. So here we go with the um, first one. This one, like I say, I'm not sure exactly what all is in here yet, but this one, very nice. <laughs> if you want to get in that little detail there, camera person, there's a nice little skull on the um, handle there, right, right above where the blade meets the handle. I've got someone running the camera for me today. His name is Rich. <laughs> Say hello, Rich. Howdy. <laughs> okay, this one is ooh, very nicely done. This one I don't think would shatter. Some of, some of the ones I've, I've got are purely decorative. Decorative? Decorative. And then where others are, they can actually be used in combat if you so chose. But why would you? I mean, these this is art. Um, they would probably make some good um, weaponry for movies, movie props and whatnot as well. But um, nice little... So that's that one there. It's a nice little uh, <laughs> so like that side. <laughs> and then I've got this nice little ooh, nice little machete. <laughs> Not very fancy looking, but this is looks like one that you would use actually out doing whatever it is you do with machetes. <laughs> but um it's a Tramanita Brazil. This is Brazilian, apparently. Very nice. Looks like it would be good for hacking and slashing um, vines and whatnot if you're caught in a jungle. Uh, here's a nice one. They, this one is obviously one of the purely decorative ones. Got a nice little uh, lizard snakeskin pat pattern. Obviously, it's not real snake skin, but um, <laughs> we don't want... No snakes were harmed in the making of this sword. But very nice little two-tone blade design there. Hopefully, I'm getting it just right in the camera there. And nice little, uh, nice little design there. 3D. <laughs> 3D. Woohoo! <laughs> And it's got the telltale. Um, as far as I understand, this is um, the, I believe it's the Japanese style swords. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Usually most Japanese style swords have a two-tone blade where they're made with two different metals. And that was um, unique to their craft. Um, and so this is, even though obviously it's, I mean it is real, you could still do some damage with, with it. It's still um, not intended for such use, but it is made in the style. Am I putting... Oh, that's good. Sometimes these things fit a little tight. 
especially when you don't uh, open and um, open them up all too often. Oh, here's a cutie. This one reminds me of, a, of Transformers with, because it has a little robot head on it. Check your little robot head. And the little uh, things on the sides uh, are just little protections so no one goes banging their hands into that and stabbing themselves on the little points. Because these are sharp points. <laughs> but it's a very, very beautiful blade, nice and pointy. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's been sharpened because it's pretty, pretty well nice and clean. But... Yeah, I, th I think this one's a really cute blade, actually. A little, I call it a little transformer, but even though I, I obviously it doesn't transform, but I I grew up in the '80s with the uh, Transformers cartoon, and you know, big fan of, of the cartoon there from back then. <laughs> ah, now here's here's something you don't want to run into um, on a, in a dark alley. Luckily, I'm not, I'm not a violent person. But, yeah, this one's got a, def a definite blade on it too, so this is definitely one you don't want to um, carelessly um, whack your hands into. <laughs> I'm not sure, I can't remember what kind of design this particular blade is, but very pretty. <laughs> and it's got a nice little uh, handle which is covered in uh, material so you don't hurt your hands. I'll mess with putting it back in its sheath later, that's a little complicated of a sheath. <laughs> and then here's one that's got it wrapped in its own little... Uh, wrapping paper. Ah! Woohoo! This one... Now this is artsy here. Very nice. Nice little handle and... <laughs> and by the way, I am not advocating war or anything people or violence, but just appreciating the art. Bladesmithing has been around since the Stone Age, so... <laughs> At first they were used as tools, and then of course, you know, as people will be people, uh, and they start, you know, fighting each other, that's what happens, they start using tools against each other. So, it's never just the weapon that will do the damage, it is the person that is behind the weapon that will do damage. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention what I've got on my dining room or my living room table here, my Pantera Claws. Yeah. Designed by uh, Tom Anderson, according, by, according to a little insignia on, its, um, on the blade. And my camera person is laughing at me for some reason, I don't know. So if you Tom Anderson. Huh? Tom Anderson. Little bastards. Oh. From Beavis and Butthead. Oh, okay. Anderson. Sorry. It's been a while. Continue. That's okay. It's okay. You know, it's, you know, this, 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 this isn't, um, NBC or ABC or anything. So, I mean, if you're, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, angry with my camera person for breaking protocol and talking or laughing and wanting to make me laugh. And I'm not going to start the whole thing over just because he laughs. So, um. That's why I'm trying not to laugh out loud. Even, even though I am a professional, I've. You know, as I've said before, you know, I used to do this for a living, and so I'm always a professional with the craft. But sometimes you just have to say, what the hell? Especially when you don't have the proper equipment, you're using a little Nikon um, point-and-shoot camera for it as your video camera. One of these days, I will get an actual um, video camera. But anyway, I love this thing, and I... I know I was, I was doing a cardinal sin and I was kind of pointing it earlier to myself, which that's a no-no. You never want to point it at yourself or point it at someone else. Um, unless they're like 
five feet away, then that's fine. Ooh, 3D. <laughs> but yeah, this is my table centerpiece, actually. And some, something to scare off um, any would-be visitors. Um, <laughs> and this other one, I kind of like this one. It's kind of cute. Um, if you want to zoom in a little bit on that one. I know, a little uh, feather or whatever on top of the head looks like it's coming off a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how old this piece is. Um, the artwork is, looks, I don't know if it might be African or South American, but, um, but it's a nice little uh, utility blade. Looks like it would be good for a hunt, you know, like a little hunting um, blade. Did I get it into it backwards? I think I did, yeah. But yeah, it's nice art. And if anyone knows what, what style of art this is, let me know. That'd be cool. Um, I, like I said, I think it's African or South American. I'm not totally 100% on that. Oh, a riding crop. Not sure what my father was thinking when he, when he, when he got this. I don't know. Because we've never, we've never had a horse. <laughs> and, you know, with parents, you don't want to think about certain things when, when it comes to parents. Like, no, that, that's, you know. <laughs> ah, scimitar. Or scimitar like blades. It's like, very nice. Ooh, nice black blade. This one, this one's got some weight. Definitely. Definitely something that um, has some really nice weight to it. I always like this this style, but I can remember it's like. Hmm? I'm saying drop it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to have it so people can see it, you know? Right. What I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, if you're, you know, it's, I can't see it. You're, you're, you can only see it. So yeah, this is. Um, this was apparently from the catalog company of, of Bud K, apparently. Um, you know, my, my dad, I guess, did a lot of, um, you know, the mail order stuff. If you remember when mail order was a thing, uh, <laughs> before, um, before the uh, online really took off. Although I think they still had the um, um, catalog stuff even after um, on Amazon and whatnot came along, but... You know, they still had those after a while. <laughs> and here's another sword. Nice big one, still uh, wrapper. Oh, it looks like a canto, maybe? I think that's the type of tip that it, that, that is. It's a little, uh, looks like another little uh, Japanese-inspired uh, design. Not the two-tone kind, though, like the samurai-type swords and stuff. But this really looks like it has a good build to it. Nice thick. Oh yeah. I was, I was just seeing if there was like a signature or something on there sometimes. You know, if, it, if they're like works of art, they usually have the artist listed on them. And a nice little uh, strap that you can carry your sword with, like strap it to your shoulders or whatnot. Uh, here's another one of, looks like a scimitar style blade. I'm not sure what, if the smaller ones are called scimitar still or not. I know the big ones are, but well, that one's got a little bit of a spot on it. But yeah, the, these are so nice. Do 3D again. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've got an actually I've got a, a full size one in, in my bedroom that um, that was given to me as a Christmas present or Christmas or birthday. I'm not I can't remember exactly which. But um but yeah um 
I know my father kind of started collecting these after, you know, he got unable to go fishing and whatnot all the time, and he was kind of a stay-at-home after a while, you know, his health started failing, so um, he just turned to collecting and, you know, was collecting a whole bunch of stuff, including the knives. Ooh, this one's nice. A little serpentine, complete with a snakehead handle. Get in on that there, cameraman. <laughs> Very nice. That can. That is a r really good artwork on that. see what else we have here. Ah, here. Oh, I do see one that's down here, but I won't show it because it could be offensive to some people. Um, my father was also a history buff, and, you know, even though he may not have been for, um, even though he wasn't for certain thing, ideals and whatnot, he still, you know, collected, you know, for historical but yeah, there's one down there. I don't want to offend people with looking. Oh, and this is a very awesome piece, although the band's kind of turned a little bit. But this one is wooden handle and wooden um, wooden scabbard. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That looks like it's been sharpened a few times too. Um, looks like it might be old. Um, cause yeah, the, just the just the whole look of it looks a little old. But um, so yeah, that one is a. This one might actually be an antique. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can see that in there. Little uh, hawk or eagle or some some sort of bird of prey on the handle. Very nicely crafted. I, I'm really impressed by this one. This one's really nice. It's, um, I, I wish I, you know, wish the blade was a little shinier though, but sometimes, you know, you, you can't, you know, especially if it's old. Another one. Now oh, this looks like another little... Ah, this is a knife. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice solid handle and solid construction. That's what you want to look for when you um, when you buy blades. You want some solid construction um, because I mean, not that you would. Not that you should want to use it in combat, but if you had to, if you had to fight off some zombies or something, you want something that's, you know, not going to break in your hand when you go to use it. Um, I made a joke with someone the other day. It's like, I've, I'm pretty much prepared for the zombie apocalypse. Um, <laughs> I've got pl plenty, of, um, plenty of blades in here to chop, chop, hacks, dice, dice, you know, whatever, you know. So, I mean, even though I would never want to use these on anyone, you know, I, ha I have it. I have it if I need it. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a, another heavy one. Feels like it's well constructed. I think this is another one made in... This one doesn't say where it was made at. Yep, Pakistan. It seems the heavier ones are made in Pakistan. They they must really know their blades over there. Um, you know, just like the Japanese do, of course, with their samurai swords. Um, the Pakistani people ha have have their craft down. Um, hmm. But yes, they're um, nice, solid handle, solid blade. Another one of 
looks very similar to that, just a longer, different style of blade. Oops, put it in the wrong way. Can't do that. <laughs> wow. I, I'm not going to uncover this one because I think it's the same, the same exact one as the other one. Um, I believe there was a set of two. Like I said, I haven't really seen these since I stashed them all in the box. So, um, basically, you know, after, you know, he died and we were just basically trying to get everything moved, we just kind of shoved everything in boxes and, you know. <laughs> so I really didn't have a lot of time to marvel at some of this stuff. Oh, this is the companion piece to my um, to my skull one, my skull sword from earlier. It seems has little um, skulls over here and down here. A nice little, uh, nice well formed blade. <coughs> I'm just gonna keep this wrapped up in its paper. Kind of burst out of its paper. I think there's probably one more in this box. No, two more in this box actually. But okay. Not sure what this one is. <coughs> oh, what did you leave me? <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I know what this one is. Very pretty, nice and shiny. I always have a thing for shinies. <laughs> I think this is, ah, yes. <laughs> Just gotta try to get them in properly now without, there we go. And then they lock back. I'm going to close this now and I will make another couple segments of, um, to show off the wide range, wide array of the blades that I have in my collection. So until then, take care.